side and divide it into three sections for my braid. And I'm going to start a French braid, so I'm crossing the right strand over the middle and then crossing the left strand over the middle. Now I'm going to combine the middle and right strand together to switch to a fishtail braid. So now I'm going to take a small piece from the right side, cross it over to the left, pick up a new section of hair and cross it over to the left side. Then I'm going to cross a small piece from the left side over to the right, pick up a new section of hair and cross it over to the right side. So once more, I'm taking a small piece from the right side, crossing it over to the left, picking up a new section of hair and crossing it over to the left side. Then I'm going to take a small piece from the left side, cross it over to the right, pick up a new section of hair and cross it over to the right side. And I'm just going to repeat those steps, continuing the fishtail fringe braid, working down the left side of my head, until I've brought in hair from above my left ear and from the center of the back of my head. Then I'm just going to continue the braid a little further down and tie an elastic band over the bottom. Now I'm going to repeat those exact same steps and create a second fishtail French braid crossing small sections over to the opposite side while adding new sections into the braid until it reaches the back of my head and then I'm just going to braid the hair a little further down and tie an elastic band over the bottom. Now I'm going to bring the two braids together at the back of my head and tie them together with another elastic band and then remove the elastics from the individual braids. Then I'm going to pick up a section of hair from each side of my head at the nape of my neck and tie these together over the ends of the braids. With this new ponytail, I'm going to braid the hair into a regular three strand braid, crossing the side strands over the middle strand and braiding down to the ends. Then I'm going to pull on the edges of the right side of the braid to help create the petals of the flower and then I'm going to tie off the bottom of the braid with a clear elastic band. Then I'm going to wrap the braid into a spiral to create the flower, tucking the ends of the braid into the center and placing it where the fishtail French braids meet at the back of my head. Then I'm just going to slide some bobby pins underneath the flower to secure it in place. 